cranes. They're among the most important pieces of equipment found on major construction sites. Their ability to safely move large heavy material and equipment in a complex construction environment makes cranes indispensable. Their power, size, and the weight of their loads also make cranes potentially hazardous to work around and operate. One of the keys to their safe operation is effective communication between the crane operator and the signal person who directs the crane and load movements. To ensure clear communication, a set of industry accepted standardized hand signals and verbal commands are used by the signal person. This communication between the signal person and the operator should be continuously maintained during crane movements. These signals and voice commands are so important that they're documented in national regulatory documents. ASME B30.5 2007 Mobile and Locomotive Cranes, OSHA 29 CFR 1926.1419 through 1422, and 1926.1428, as well as Appendix A to Subpart CC of Part 1926. Well, I've been in the crane industry for 25 years, uh, 20 years in the field, and five years coordinating crane jobs. The crane operator is only as good as that signal person is. So if the signal person isn't giving the crane operator proper signals, the crane operator is, is going to be confused and uh, will not do his job properly. Cranes have been playing an important role building the world's infrastructure for more than 2,000 years, having been invented by the ancient Greeks. Today, many of the cranes found at construction sites are some form of mobile crane, such as truck-mounted cranes, rough terrain cranes, and crawler cranes equipped with tracks. The basic components of mobile cranes include a movable boom attached to a platform. The boom can be raised or lowered as well as rotated to move a load horizontally. There are also cranes with telescoping booms. A spool with steel cables extends to the end of the boom and attaches to the load. A powerful motor provides the force to move the boom and raise or lower the load. Most cranes also have heavy counterweights to help offset the weight of the load. To increase stability, many cranes have outriggers. It's very important that the outriggers are set on a firm surface that won't sink or compress under the weight. Outriggers also help ensure that the crane remains level during operation. Tower cranes are also widely used in the construction of tall buildings. The jib on most tower cranes are secured in a horizontal position and can rotate on their pedestal. The load can be raised or lowered and can travel horizontally along the length of the jibs. The mechanism that moves horizontally along the jib is called the trolley. In spite of their size and power, cranes have limitations to be aware of. For example, all cranes have load limits. There are two key factors that affect a crane's maximum load limit. First of all, extending a telescopic boom reduces its lifting capacity. Secondly, the angle of the boom also affects load limits. As the boom is lowered, its load limit decreases as the load moves further away from the crane. The distance from roughly the center of the crane to where the load can safely be moved is called the load radius. Moving a load beyond the load radius would require adding more counterweight or the crane could tip. Boom deflection is also important to be aware of. When a crane picks up a load, the boom often deflects downward. This can present two hazards. It lowers the crane's lifting capacity by causing the load to be further from the crane. It can also cause the load to swing as it lifts off. 